Good morning, class, and how are you doing today? We are doing fine, moderator. Thanks. In today's discussion, we will be talking about spatial data infrastructure (SDI) as it relates to today's world. Wow, this great! I'm happy to be part of today's class. I want everyone to pay attention and ask the question where it is necessary. Spatial data infrastructure (SDI) is defined as a framework of policies, institutional arrangements, technologies, data, and people that enables the sharing and effective usage of geographic information by standardizing formats and protocols for access and interoperability. Moderator, what is the goals of SDI in today's world? The goals of SDI are to one, reduce duplication of efforts among governments. Two, lower costs related to geographic information while making geographic data more accessible. Three, increase the benefits of using available spatial data. And four, establish key partnerships between states, counties, cities, academia, and the private sector. Moderator, should SDI be part of e-government initiatives? Yes, of course. SDI should be seen as part of wider e-government initiatives because of its roles it plays in our society. Again, infrastructure for spatial information in the European community. Inspire is a European Union EU directive that came into force on May 15, 2007, binding EU members to establish a spatial data infrastructure via the Internet that facilitates the sharing of geographic information in a standardized way. Furthermore, Inspire addresses technical and non-technical issues, ranging from standards, organizational and procedural issues, and data policies, to the creation and maintenance of electronic services. Wow! Thanks moderator for your time with us in today's discussion on SDI and GIS World. We promise to subscribe to your YouTube channel for more updates on your lectures. We will also invite more friends to join us on our next lecture. Thanks! Subscribe to Heroizu Tech YouTube and receive updates on the latest news.